Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 50 Myths in Chapter 3, Season 3. We're going to start off with myth number one. Can you build and shoot on wildlife? So as you guys know, you can ride the wildlife, you can sprint on them, you can jump. Can you shoot on them? Yes, you actually can. So you can fight opponents on wildlife. But here is the real question. Can you build on wildlife? Oh my god, you can. This is crazy, guys. You can literally do anything you want. While on wildlife. I'm literally sitting here. I'm cranking 90s on a board, dude. All right, myth number two. Can you sky base on animals? Yes, you actually can. I actually built all the way up to sky limit riding this animal. Myth number three. Do you take fall damage while riding animals? So let's go ahead and just leap off. So will the animal sponge the fall damage for me or will I die? Ah, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There is a hack to not die to fall damage. Wow, rest in peace, boar. We have shockwaves back again in this season, but can you slide faster after shockwaving? All right, so we're in the air. I'm going to press slide now. Oh, we can. As you can see, you do slide faster. All right, so for the next myth, we're going to be using the shockwave again. Can you b-hop after shockwaving? Let's go ahead and test that out. So you basically want to slide and then jump. You can. You can b-hop after shockwaving. And for this myth, I ask the question, can you redeploy from the reality tree? And if you hit this mushroom and bounce up, you can. It sends you up through the top of the reality tree, and you can redeploy to wherever you want, which I don't think a lot of people know, if I'm going to be honest with you. So now that you know you can redeploy, that bears the question, can you baller into the redeploy? Let's see. Will it take me up high enough? I seem to be floating. I don't actually know what's going on right now. Okay, maybe if I roll over this mushroom. Oh, it actually breaks the mushroom. Okay, I don't think you redeploy in a baller. Okay, guys, so as you can see with the new ballers in Chapter 3, Season 3, there is a battery symbol down in the bottom right, and you can run out and not be able to use your baller anymore. But my question is, can you refuel? Uh, you cannot. It is not the same as fueling. It says charge, 10%. Do you bounce off of the big mushrooms? No. You do not. However, there are these little blue ones like this scattered across the map, especially in this POI, that you can bounce on. Also, as you can see on my health bar, it gives me 15 HP, and I'm pretty sure you can only do it once in terms of the heals, but you can bounce on it as much as you want. Can you bounce on a mushroom while on an animal, and do you still get the health from it if so? Ah, you can. Does the wildlife die? Oh, but I landed in water. Okay, so as you saw, you can bounce on these while on wildlife. You can also bounce on the lily pads while you're on wildlife. Can you rift to go while on the back of wildlife? Let's go ahead and pop this rift. Okay, so it pops you off of the animal, but it also rifts your animal with you. Now, luckily, we don't have to say rip boar again as he landed in the water. So for this myth, we're going to be seeing, can we drown in the waterfall? So I don't know that I can actually stay on this, but let's see. It actually seems like it just straight up pushes you through. It looks like myth busted, guys. It does not appear as though you can drown yourself in the waterfall. You can die to drowning if you're, like, stuck underwater for too long. Next, Season 3 myth. Are there IO chests still in Command Cavern? No, there are not. I'm pretty sure this is where one used to spawn. But yeah, there are no more IO chests. Sadly, they are gone. Alright, for this myth, we're going to be seeing can you rift to go a baller? Let's see. Oh, you can. Can you catch yourself midair? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, and I just re-rifted into it. All right, there that is. Okay, so yeah, you can rift your baller if you ever needed to for some reason. Can you baller onto a launch pad? Oh, okay. Well, I don't guess you can launch pad off of a baller, as you saw there. It does the animation for it, but it doesn't send you. Next myth, can you baller into the cubby hole? You can. This is interesting. So yeah, you can actually go up the cubby hole on the reality tree with a baller. Cool. Can I go from the outside in? Like, say, through this hole in the side of the tree, for instance. Ah, you can. It does. It fits. Cool. Do llamas drop chug cannons again? We're about to find out right now. And any moment now, let's see. Ah, there it is. So you do get chug cannons out of llamas yet again. They are unvaulted. So is the zero point still on the Chapter 3 Season 3 map? Yes, it is. As you can see right here, there's actually a big hole from the event where the collider used to be, and you can see the zero point right there. People already know Chapter 3 Season 3 did not bring back Clombos. Well, at least not alive. That is right, my friends. So is Clombos still alive? No. 
Klombo is not alive. He's very dead, in fact. This is Fossil right here. So, rest in peace, Klombo. Can you still see the mech somewhere on the map? Yes, you can. Right here, near, I believe, Chonker Speedway. We're gonna hop out. As you can see, this is the mech's arm, I believe. And man, it is quite massive, I will say. Pretty cool that they have a remnant of the mech on the map now. Can you heal while riding on wildlife? You can. But can you sprint while healing on wildlife? You cannot. So you can only do it while riding normally like this. As you can see, I am healing. So for the next myth, does dropping a like on the video do anything? No, probably not, but it does put a smile on my face. So if you would like to drop a like on the video if you are enjoying so far. For this myth, we're gonna be asking the question, can you harvest the reality tree? Uh, you cannot, at least not down on the roots. You also cannot harvest the side of the reality tree at all. Okay, can you build on the reality tree? Ah, you can. So how high do I build before I redeploy? Okay, so about right there. Nice. Can I land on top of the reality tree? Let's see. It does not seem like you can. It seems to force you higher. No. Okay. You cannot land on the reality tree. Can you shoot these boulders out? So you can see I am at Tilted Towers. Imagine there is a player right down there on the road. Say I break this bottom part of this rock. That boulder is gonna go rolling, guys. So yeah, if you didn't know that, now you do. I'm pretty sure it deals 86 damage to a player. Can you drive a car into the wind tunnel? Let's find out. Okay, so you can drive a car into the wind tunnel, but can you get it to fly through the wind tunnel? That is the real question. All right, we are above it. Can we fly through it? You cannot, you fall straight through it. Can you ride wildlife in the wind tunnels? Let's see right now. Oh, okay, so it actually takes you off of the animal, as you saw there. Can you take your wildlife onto the rails? You can, and it actually looks kind of goofy, as you can see there. Uh, you can't quite go up the rail, unfortunately. But yes, you can run on the rails on wildlife. It kind of bounces you around a little bit. Okay, next myth. Can you drive a vehicle on the rails of the roller coaster? Gotta be very careful here. Uh, yes, you can. Uh, I don't know what this is though. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, I guess hypothetically you can, but I don't see why you would. Okay, so in last season, chapter 3, season 2 of Fortnite, Guaco, the NPC here at Greasy Grove, sold shield kegs. You could actually buy them off of him for, I believe, 100 gold. So this myth is, does Guaco still sell shield kegs? He does, and it's actually 250 gold. I was wrong. He also sells the new two-shot shotgun. So this is a really good NPC. If you're standing on the roller coaster, can you build on it? Ah, oh, okay, so you cannot build on the roller coaster, guys. Wait, you can build right there, though. I think that's because there's a platform there, though. But no, you cannot build on the roller coaster. Except for, like, except for, like, right through here. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay, so on these little posts, you can build walls on these posts. So I guess that's good to know if you ever are in that situation. So it's kind of yes and no. Myth busted and not busted on that one. So when Chapter 1 released, we got these new vault POIs around the map. They were kind of scattered. Can you still open these vaults? Well, this one has IO chests in it. That's interesting, but I am in Battle Lab, so I don't know if this is actually how it is in pubs. Let me know down in the comments. Can you open the vault here at this POI or any of the other vaults scattered across the map in Chapter 3, Season 3? But I want to break the myth of can you cannon at all in Chapter 3, Season 3? Are there any cannons? Now, I'm not sure of all of the total cannon spawns but i do know where one cannon is so if you do come over here near this blue house between tilted and sanctuary there's a hill right here with a building and as you can see a cannon is up here so yes myth busted you can actually cannon in chapter 3 season 3 as you see right here there's just not as many by far there's like maybe one or two that i know of so far at least on the map still can you swim on an animal oh okay you can Confirmed, you can swim on animals in Fortnite Chapter 3, Season 3. Can you reboot your teammate on the back of wildlife? Hmm, hold up. Oh, you can. But I think you might have to sit still. I saw someone do it while sprinting. Now, I don't know how possible that is. It's not seeming to work right now. So you can reboot your teammate while on the back of wildlife. Let me see if this is even possible. <laughs> this is so hard. Okay, I don't think it's possible, guys. I don't think you can sprint and reboot at the same time. At least I can't right now. Can you destroy the giant bear head on the top of Command Cavern? Also known as Rave Cave. Alright, I guess, uh... Oh, you cannot. It is actually indestructible. What are you doing, Spider-Man? So for this myth, we're going to be seeing if you can still open the Command Cavern Vault and if you need a key card or not. I have my friend Cody here, and as you can see... This is the Command Cavern Vault, and it does open without a keycard. And the loot is pretty much the same, except there are no more IO chests in this vault. And as you can see, 
Still got the two supply drops, which is kind of crazy, not gonna lie, considering you don't need a key card anymore. And can you still ram through buildings in a battle bus despite not having the cow catcher on the front? We're gonna test that right now. All right, let's go. Somebody hopped in it with me. Can I still ram through buildings? No, I cannot. In chapter three, season three, we also have gotten these reality saplings. If you break this bulb, you will get seeds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these seeds and I want to know, can you place one of these reality saplings on the reality tree itself? All right, so no, it does not actually look like you can place a reality sapling on the reality tree. Kind of ironic. Maybe out here on the branch? Nope, nothing. You cannot place it here. Can I place it on this mushroom here? I don't think I can. So guys, right here, I meant to ask the myth, can you steal other people's reality saplings loot? And as you see, you can. It is actually very possible and it is very broken. So yeah, try to abuse that to get free wins this season. Can you have two reality seeds at once? Yes, you can. As you see in my inventory, I do have two reality seeds. Can you place the reality sapling in different biomes? You can. As you can see, I am in the snow biome, and as a matter of fact, I can go ahead and tell you, you can place this thing anywhere on the entire map as long as it is on land. Can you put a reality seed into your tent? Oh, okay. You can. You can put reality seeds in tents, so that's good to know. Can you get storm sickness in Chapter 3 Season 3? So, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you can actually get storm sickness from trying to outheal the storm in the new season. It's a new feature they've added. So we're gonna sit in storm for a while, we're gonna try to outheal it, and let's see if I get storm sickness. Once this zone closes in, it will be a five tick, I believe. Oh, here we go. Okay, storm sickness warning. Exit the storm to avoid storm sickness. Okay, so I wonder when it starts after you get the warning. It's been about 20 seconds now. Oh, here we go. Storm sickness, you're afflicted. Oh, look how quick it... Oh, okay, so it kills you really fast once you get it. As we know, we have three new weapons in Chapter 3, Season 3, but can you get any of those three weapons out of vending machines? What's in here? Ah, DMR. Okay, cool. So you can get the new weapons out of vending machines. Myth busted. I feel bad for that guy. Can you heal reality saplings? And there are these weeds that you can pick that appears to like rejuvenate the sapling and it does make it look like it grows a little bit. Maybe these will turn into blue right here. They do look like they're getting more blue. What about if I hit this one? Oh, there we go. Oh, it does. Okay, so picking the weeds raises the rarity of the loot that you will obtain. I'm going to be testing if you can throw a cow catcher on the battle bus. And you can. There's a guy here as well, so I'm gonna try to dip. Now, I know you guys know about the secret cave behind the waterfall here. Apparently, there is a pile of rocks back here. And yes, right here, as you can see, there is this pile of rocks. Apparently, as a community, we are supposed to break this pile of rocks. And apparently, it has like 500 million health. The community eventually will break it. As you can see, the community has gotten it to that point. But what if I were to tell you that you can actually break it with a cow catcher on a car? Oh, you can! I broke it. Okay, so here's the secret room behind. And, uh, wow, look at this. We got some henchmen back here. All right, well, the henchmen are hiding back here. There's a little bit of loot back here, too. I mean, got a couple ammo boxes here. And for the final myth, can you subscribe to the YouTube channel? <laughs> I know, it's kind of corny. Sorry, guys. But seriously, if you feel like it, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. I post Fortnite content every single day, and it would mean the world to me if you joined the JCM Army, most underrated Fortnite community on all of YouTube, hands down. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. This has been 50 Myths Busted in Chapter 3, Season 3. So far, one of my favorite seasons, without a doubt. What a beautiful POI we're in. So yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy, and I'll catch you in the very next video. Peace.